Ooh, my rosacea has flared up. I wanted to make a, a quick video um, because in the next few days, YouTuber Tanya, and that's T-A Tanya, Fifle Rhodes is going to be featuring um, my GoFundMe at the beginning of her channel, I think, which is amazing. And she also donated, which is even more amazing. And uh, thank you, Tanya. Um, I almost passed out when I found out because how amazing and kind that was of her. She has over 9,000 subscribers, so I'm hoping somebody will see my story and, you know, want to help me out. I feel horrible having to ask for money. I feel, um, I don't know, it's, it's not something I've done before, and it's not something I'm very comfortable with. Um, my, my family hasn't helped, and I think some of that is because I haven't shared with my immediate family, but... I, because I block, like, I block some people just because I feel very judged by them. Um, so maybe it's my fault for not giving them the chance, but, uh, we just live paycheck to paycheck, unfortunately. I can't work because of my neck injury. My husband's a master mechanic, but he's also 50 years old and the younger guys seem to get more of the work, so to say, and because he hurt his hand a week after I hurt my neck, and he was a, a master mechanic at a Ford dealership where he was actually ranking up pretty high, you know, up the ladder, and uh, he couldn't be a mechanic anymore. He had he was off for a year and a half and he had to be retrained into a different field and he chose trucking since my dad was a trucker and um was gonna have him drive his truck since my dad was out on disability and uh it turned out my dad ended up having to sell the truck because he just had no money so my husband had to take a low ranking trucking job and we had to move in with my grandmother we had to move from beautiful beautiful Sonoma County oh, and uh, uproot our kids and move to the valley Modesto which is like two and a half hours away <clears throat> we had to move in with my grandma it wasn't ideal because Mark and I had to sleep on the couch in my grandma's living room and we gave the boys the the spare bedroom um you know but we slowly rebuild our lives we were able to move out we have a little teeny tiny house that we rent great wonderful landlords amazing people um and since it's just three people our small little and two little dogs our small little house is perfect but um we we got to the point where my husband just it was just getting bad we had to let credit cards go our credit suffered so i was like mark you've got to try to go back to being a mechanic like i can't work I'm sorry, this is on you. So he did his ASC certifications again, um, did everything but his smog, and then got a, a good job at a, I, I forget, I think it was a Chevy dealership. Then he went to Mercedes. They closed down the, the parts that he was doing. He was working on the Sprinter vans at Mercedes. So he had to get a new job, and now he's at a Jeep, Dodge Jeep dealership. And... I mean, he's making good money. We can pay our rent. We can pay our bills. But we don't have anything extra. Like, my husband's got a broken tooth. And he's let that go because, um, you know, he said, like he says right now, obviously, my situation is a lot more important. And the reason I'm really pushing it is because I had 12 infected teeth on February 5th. So that was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And I was on a pretty massive course of antibiotics. And... I'm assuming the infection's gone because I feel better, but um, that's not the first time that's happened. I guess the infection, I can't really tell. I can tell like I don't feel good. One opening down here does kind of ooze pus. It's disgusting. It's like a volcano. And, um, you know, again, this all stems from Rue and Y gastric bypass. Worst mistake of my life. But... Uh, I know I ramble. I just, I have so much to say and I should probably start writing things down and 
doing my my vlogging a little bit better. I'm actually in front of Target because I'm so thirsty. I have to get something. To, I'm just going to get like an iced tea or something because I have a doctor's appointment for um, my neck injury today. And uh, so I'm stopping here at the Target. It's the closest Starbucks to my hospital. Actually, I my I've it's called Kaiser. My doctor's inside the hospital. It's weird. It's a weird insurance, but I've actually had it since birth. I have the same medical record number since birth. And oh, we do have dental insurance. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, I I'm not gonna lie. We have dental insurance, but it's preventative only. So we can't. Um, oh, someone's pulling up next to me. They're gonna think I'm so weird. But anyways, it's preventative only. So it's like cleanings and things to prevent things. Um, so we're screwed. And yes, we're getting a tax refund, but we're only getting about $1,000. And um, I am putting that towards the sixty-five seventy-two dollars that uh, my dentures are going to cost. Um, I think I put 5000 on the... GoFundMe. I mean, I'd be happy if I just got one thousand. Right now, I have one hundred and sixty-five dollars, and um, like my husband said, that'll pay for one of the infected extract extractions or one of the deep ones. Because even though I only have um, the icky teeth on the front, I have nothing in the back. They still have to go into the gum and cut out, you know, the you know your tooth that's like. The, thing, the crown on the top and then you've got the root thingy, the bone. It's still bone. They got to go dig that out. Ugh, you can tell I got dry mouth. I'm so thirsty. Um, and it's hot today. Like, really? Global warming? Come on. Ugh, it should be cold. I should be seeing snow on the, you know, on the mountaintops. And I don't. It's hot. It's 67 degrees. It's ridiculous. But, anyways, that's what I wanted to say. And, uh... If anybody, if you guys are watching, if anybody wants to donate, the link, I can't get it to work. I I messaged GoFundMe, but I don't understand what she said because I don't understand how all this stuff works. I'll have to have my, my child look at it for me. Um, but anyway, it's, if you just put in the search Melissa Scott, M-E-L-I-S-S-A-S-C-O-T-T, -S and then put Modesto, M-O-D-E-S-T-O, and my title is Help Me Smile Again. You'll see me. You'll see me going like that, showing my, my pearly pearly whites. Yeah, sarcasm. But, um, any hoots. Um, I, I feel like for the first time in a very long time, I actually have something to look forward to. And I'm actually really excited because once I get my dentures, you know, I'm going to start living my life again. I, I sing. I love to sing. I want to start singing in a choir or doing karaoke. Um, I've made a couple singing videos. And I want to, I just want to have friends go out to lunch, have a cup of coffee. Um, not be embarrassed when... You know, I meet my my daughter's friends' parents. You know, and even when my when my twenty three year old son, who's out of the army now, he's going to the University of Oregon. He comes home on his breaks, and you know, sometimes he'll bring like a girl home, you know, or an, a friend, another like friend that he's met. And I'm just like, yeah, hi, nice to meet you. You know, I order my Starbucks drinks like this too. I pretend I'm itching my lip. You know, really embarrassed just of everything so that's my update for today Tanya and Kurt thank you so much you guys you have no idea how much I appreciate this even if nobody donates at least people will see and maybe somebody that's watching your channel's had gastric bypass surgery and it's specifically the rue and why from what I understand it's a very very invasive one and they'll, you know, maybe think, oh, God, I should go to the dentist and get it checked. And because it's something that was happening for a long time, but I didn't know. And I had seen it, several dentists, and they didn't know why I was getting these little brown markings on my teeth. And then 
they went like that in a matter of like five or six months. Uh, my teeth just went and it was fast and furious and horrible. You know, I'm the only reason I have what I have left is because I try to be super careful with what I eat and I don't bite into anything. Um, and I eat soft and, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start crying if I don't stop. But Tanya and Kurt, thank you guys so much. Um, and all my new subscribers and my old subscribers, thank you guys so much. I love that people are actually interested in what I have to say because pretty much my whole life, nobody's really been interested in what I've had to say. Fuck. Here we go. I have to stop because I can't go in and order my drink with tears in my eyes and then show up at my doctor's making it look like I've been crying. So I love you guys. Tanya, Kurt, I love you guys. Um, you've really touched my heart, you know? Thank you.